in overall terms, it's not a massive increase in defence spending, but it is uh, the first significant increase that we've seen in a very long time. But I think what's really significant about this is the, is the shift in emphasis in Japan's whole uh, defence strategy. So Japan used to have a defence strategy based in the main islands here, mainly looking north to Russia to defend against a Russian invasion during the Cold War. Now the whole shift is to the south and to the west and to Japan's long chain of islands which the Japanese government believes are increasingly under threat from China's increasing military power and China's increasingly expansionist desires in the East China Sea, particularly around the disputed islands that they've been arguing over for the last year or so. And so this is a, a shift to buy lots of new equipment, to form a new amphibious assault force, and it's putting, if you like, military forces behind the Japanese government's uh, stance, which is to stand up to China and to say we will not back down over these territorial disputes.